Hey everyone, uh, so this is new. I'm doing a Let's Play? Zounds, that's not a thing I typically do. I mean, the last time I made a video with a video game was, I think, an ESPN-style video about Dirt 3. Anyways, so we are going to be playing a game that I have never touched before. Um, you, if you're looking at the screen, you can probably tell what game it is. That's right, it's Undertale! I have never played it before, I've been trying to isolate myself from it um, in order to come at this video series um, with a fresh set of eyes. Uh, now whether this becomes a series of videos or is just a one-off is kind of up to you guys. Consider this a pilot episode. Um, now when I say I have not had any contact with it, I mean clearly the internet's been going bazonkers about this game, so I know a little bit about it. I know something about uh, that you can play it uh, as a pacifist or as a violent. I'm not really sure about the mechanics part of it. Um, I am aware of the two skeleton bros whose names I do not remember. Um, there's something about a, a goat woman. Uh, I saw her at an anime convention. It was brought to my attention that that was from Undertale. And um, I know one of the songs because I saw an Old Spice remix of it. In fact, let's um, let's let's put let's put that Old Spice a little bit of Old Spice remix on. <laughs> So let's uh let's get playing. Click. Ooh. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. Yay. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, dot, dot, dot. Mount Ebot, year 2000, X team. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Look at that cute little kid with a little bob. What's up with that kid? Oh no, kid's gonna trip and fall. Ooh, bit of lag there. Can we maximize this at all? Or is it we stuck at this resolution? Maybe there'll be an options menu. Oh no! Kid fell! Sad day for a little kid! Ah no! Maybe I can alt enter this thing to find. Hey! That worked! Undertale! <laughs> Press 2 or enter. Um. Enter. Ooh. Hello, hello. Ah, when HP is zero, you lose. Get your basic controls. Confirm, cancel. Control is the in-game menu. Nice. Uh, F4 is full screen, though we've already saw that with Alt, Enter. Uh, that is a direct X shortcut, by the way, if memory serves. Uh, hold Escape to quit. When HP is zero, you lose. Okay. Enter the name. Ent name the fallen human. Hmm... Let's call her, let's call him, I don't know. How about Barry? I like Barry. Uh, da, 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 da. All the letters are jumbly. They're all the jittery, I mean. Hi, Barry. I think we're gonna get really attached to Barry in this video here. I'm already feeling it, yeah? Is this name correct? Yes, Barry. That is that's a perfectly co correct name, Barry. Short for Sir Barrington, you see. Ooh. Oh my. Barry's in a Oh, okay, so standard arrow controls. That's pretty nice. All right, so it's not like there's a fog of war thing going on where you can only see a certain thing. Um there's a space bar going on here. Enter. All right, let's try that menu biz. Oh, okay. What do we got? Do we have any items? Um, ooh, stats. I am a level one human. <laughs> 20 HP. Next in 10. 10 what? Experience? All right. Armor, bandage, weapon, stick, zero gold. All right. That's, um, okay. That's cool. Ooh, shift. That's, uh, shift is back. 
I guess any key is back. All right, let's try that. All right, there's a hallway. We can go down a hallway. Ah, spooky door. Let's go, spooky door. Oh, <laughs> okay, that is a really adorable little flower over there. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Oh, hello, Flowey. Hello, Flowey. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. <laughs> well, I, I guess. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess a little old me will have to do. <laughs> what a helpful little flower. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Oh my. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Wow, we're getting a little ethereal here, aren't we? All right. I got my little soul. I can move my soul around. That's pretty neat, I guess. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. Okay. Maybe is it that love or levels or... No, levels. Levels, yeah. What's LV stand for? Why love of... See, I was right the first time. Of course, because it's a heart. <laughs> uh, all right. You want some love, don't you? Um, I don't know how I feel about that proposition coming from a flower, but okay. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh god, that's cute. Down here, love is shared through... Little white... Friendliness pellets. That, uh, why is that in quotation marks? That flower is looking mighty skeevy at the moment. Well, maybe this is not, like, usual RPGs that you can trust the little NPCs or whatever. Maybe that's how it is. Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! Oh, f f oh, good god, that's an evil flower. You idiot. I was <laughs> just making these voices up. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up on an opportunity like this? Oh, for Christ's sake. Die! <laughs> well, that laugh just sort of says it all, doesn't it? Well, I'm screwed. Oh. Ha 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 Fuck you, Flowey. Oh, it's the goat lady. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. She looks she looks legitimately nice. If this, she ends up betraying me like that bastard Flowey, we shall see. Alright, let's follow this goat lady. Here we go. My goodness, what could that be? Oh, maybe I won't stand in that little circle there. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Okay, sure. Okay. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. What an odd way to put them. Put them. No, that doesn't do anything. What about what's going on there? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. Poignant. All right. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Well, how very nice. Press Z to read signs. I'm pressing enter to read signs, and that seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, here we are. Stay on the path. Oh, what if I don't want to stay on the path? These vines look mighty suspicious. <laughs> well, she's certainly... <laughs> okay, can I just say... I have my mouse here. I hope you can still see my mouse. 
That is such an endearing face. I mean, look at how few pixels it takes to make her look sympathetic, to make her look like she actually gives a damn about you. That's good art. That's good art design. All right, here we go. Uh, so we have the switch here. Please press this switch. Toriel. Okay. Enter seems to work just fine. Okay, so uh, we don't want to press this switch because that's not labeled. We do want to press this switch. Press the switch too. What if I press this switch? No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Yeah, thank you. I, I feel stupid now, but I, I just needed to know. Because that's the thing in RPGs, you want to press all the buttons just to make sure you're not missing anything. But maybe that's not going to work out in this game. Um, okay, so I press the switch. Ah, and it retracts the spiky plates. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Alright. Sure, Toriel, why not? As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Oh. So the whole way you survive in this game is just stalling for time so she can come and save you? I mean, great, but... I don't know, it feels sort of empty just consistently having somebody else, you know, solve your conflicts for you. Hmm. Practice talking to the dummy. Gonna be a bit of a one-sided conversation, but I... Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, okay, so there's the heart thing again. You encountered the dummy. Um, so I guess I press enter again. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, miss! Oh, shoot. Okay. Almost. Almost. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. That was... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh. No, we don't. Um. Wait, I don't get to try again? How do I know if I even did it right? Another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oh. Froggit attacks you. Oh, well, that's that's nice, I guess. Wow, look at that face. <laughs> oh, maybe you can't. I hope that's not covered by the webcam. Shoot. Damn it. I got maybe I can move that. That is a very... Well, she's giving a very scorning face. Maybe I can find an image of it on the interwebs. But yeah, that is a... That's a very scornful face. That's like a... What the fuck do you think you're doing, you little froggy? Mm, there's a sign here. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. I see there's a lot of spiky plates. Let's uh, see about puzzles here. Mm. No, that's not working. Uh, hmm. I hope this isn't like a pixel hunty kind of puzzle thing. I'm gonna stay on the path. Let's see if that works. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Um, no, it's not like there's levers on the wall. Um, hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the puzzle. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, she's... She's literally guiding you through. Oh. Look at that. She totally looks super sympathetic and caring. I get it. Okay. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. But wait a minute. But the whole point is that if I can't solve puzzles, I can't make it in the world. Oh. I 
don't know, it doesn't seem too dangerous to me. That, that made it. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Sure, lady, alright. Forgive me for this. <laughs> well, that music isn't foreboding at all. <laughs> alright. Alright, let's do this. Walk into the end of the room. Following the path just like the sun set. Walk into the end of the room. Following the path like the sun set. Walk into the end of the room. Following the path that time said. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Hold on just one goddamn second. What is going on? Oh, okay, so it isn't looping. Okay, well, there's that. Oh, well, pick it. Oh, there she is. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. Oh, my god. That. That is so cute. Oh god. Oh god. She was hiding behind the pillar to watch over you as an exercise while you exercise some independence. Oh my god, that's too cute. Oh jeez. I fucking called it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Nice. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. Take this. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. Shit, yeah. If you have a need, if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right. What a nice goat lady. Ring. Hello. This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Nope. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? I feel like this is a test. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Okay, well, thank you, Sir Frockington. Um, there's this... Oh, yeah, what is that? Frog, it hopped close. It's like a compliment. Aw, oh, blushes deeply. Rip it. Frog, it seems reluctant to fight you. Frogger didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to dodge his little froggy jumps. Froggy seems reluctant to fight you. Um... Let's try complimenting again. Now we lose some HP when we hit the flies. I won! Look at that, huh? Hit that to shit. So I guess these leaves are like the tall grass, I guess? Oh my god, I died. Wait, no, I fell. What? Oh! Oh, that also deposits me. They're harmless. This is another test. They're harmless puzzles. A Whimsom approached meekly. Well, hello, Whimsom. Halfway through your first word, Whimsom bursts into tears and runs away. You won! Okay. I guess, that's nice. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Hmm. 
Go with cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. She's... She's buying me a present. I feel so special. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Well, I didn't answer. I mean, I like butterscotch okay, I just prefer cinnamon. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Oh, well, um, maybe this is like, uh, one of them Colgate commercials. Another fight. Another frog it. Gotta compliment them, you know? Get some complimentation biz going up in here. Yeah, one, brother. And getting some gold along with it. <laughs> All right. Nice. So I got the rock on the stone. That's cool. And that lowered the spiky plates. Nice. It's one of the. There's another one of them thingies. It's holes, right? That's gonna drop me down. Please don't step on the leaves. It's kind of hard to, but you know. Alright, so don't step on the leaves. I will not. Oh, another fight. Nice. A froggit and a wimpsum. Nice. Yeah. Uh, there goes the wimpsum. Oh, I lost a little HP there. That was easy. Two gold, nice. That takes me back up to that little ejector slot. That clearly is not the way. Let's try that biz again. I don't like puzzles that is like arbitrary, you have to arbitrarily like brute force through. That's gonna open up another hole probably. Okay, so that whole line is holes. <gasps> oh! I see. I understand. Mustard seed. Oh my god, this is bullet hell. That's the fight mechanic? Bullet hell? Oh shoot. Four gold, okay. All right, so the leaves are where you land and there's a hole in the ground. So the path here must be the path that's clear to get through, okay. So, if I'm right, Big if, but if I'm right, I should be able to... Oh, there's another fight. Mold small. <laughs> you feel like you understand the world a little better. I am. Spend a day in the moccasins of another, I suppose. Burble burble. Oh, it launches spores that you have to dodge. Burbles quietly. You won! Damn it! Yeah, alright, I went too far. I get that. I get it. Shoot. I should note that I am not generally a person that plays a lot of arpages. Okay, so if I go up, go over here. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Oh, yes, yeah, smartass. No, I don't want to fight. I want to be a nice guy. I can compliment. I don't gain any XP. But... Alright. 
Did I get gold? What? 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 Oh, I didn't go far enough. Okay, so can I just stop here for a second and point out a very clever bit of level design? So, over here, they have this sign that you can get to because you're going to fall down the first time because you don't know what, you know, the mechanic is of those holes yet. So, they have this sign here that warns you about this. Please don't step on the leaves. You know what... You know how that mechanic is engaged because you go and you've read signs before, you naturally attract the signs because they have information, so you go over there and you read them. They know you're going to do the- oh, another fight scene. You know what? Just for the sake of experimentation, let's fight this guy. Oh. Fighting gives XP and gold. Ooh. Huh. That's interesting. But, um, when you're in here, since they know you're going to have to have understood the mechanic of that, okay, anywhere there's leaves on the bottom floor, there's holes in the top floor. If you go and step on this leaves, they know you've already accomplished that and understood that mechanic. So they put that sign in there, and that's how they know that you've already read the bottom sign, so they can put that text in the top sign there. Okay, so let's... Now i got to go further before I can get through here. And this is all a test. And that butterscotch thing, um, that whole butterscotch cinnamon thing. Wimsum says, I have no choice. So it seems really interesting that you could actually combine the bullet hell mechanics of both of the monsters to create different variations of bullet hell for the evasion sequences in the in the whole fight scene. Um, and that would probably lead to some really interesting strategies regarding, whoa there partner, who said you could push me around, hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Not... Not quite. Um... That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, man. He was the... The fourth out of four rocks that liked to be pushed around. Oh, really, guy? You want me to stay there? You give me a real workout. Yeah, please do stay there. Thank you kindly, Senior Rock. What's this here? Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. It's a save point. All right. So we've saved. We're about 24 minutes into the game, uh, 30 minutes into a video, evidently. Um, I think here's a good place to stop. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time.